game. Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senoka. Please don't forget to check my Instagram and Twitter account. Today I'm at the Shinjuku station. As you can see, so many people are coming back to the town. I have been receiving so many comments that when Japan will open for travelers. So today, I will show you guys how the Japan town looks like right now. So this is one of the busiest exits in Shinjuku. At the top of your board, that you can see the 3D cab. <laughs> anyway, so let's go to check and let me explain the situation. So let's go. This is the street going to Kabukicho. This street was used to be really empty, but now seems like people are coming back. Uh, how about the Kabukicho? I'm wondering. By the way, that's the discounted ticket store in Shinjuku. If you are looking for the discounted ticket store, here you go. It's just in front of Shinjuku Kabukicho. You can find many cheaper tickets. After crossing this street, there is the entrance of Godzilla Road. As you can see, already we can find the Godzilla. This place used to be so empty during the state of emergency. However, right now people are coming back. But as you can see, compared to before, still really few people on the street. Yeah, I think it's because this place is mostly popular for travelers during the daytime. Probably people are coming back in the nighttime because Kabukicho is popular as a night town. Seems like Godzilla show has started. Every hour, they have a Godzilla show. As you can see... The Godzilla roar. Updating situation in Japan. Unfortunately, recently, the many game centers are closed. The most popular one is, I think, the Ikebukuro one. There is a really popular game center, however, it's closed now. Luckily, this Kabukicho line hasn't closed yet, but... Uh, I totally understand. Because of the situation, not so many people are going to game center playing arcade games. That's the reason why. Well, hopefully the situation gets better and... Uh, People are coming back to game center too though. By the way, in front of this Godzilla area, there is a really long history game center, but that game center closed and now it became a different game center. There are only crow machines inside. It became cleaner, so I like it. Now came to main street of Shinjuku. Here, on the weekends and the holidays, it becomes a pedestrian zone. As you can see, so many people walking on the street. Uh, speaking of the situation in Japan, recently there are really few COVID new cases. And also vaccination situation is pretty good. I think it's over 75% of people got the vaccine already. So, people feel much safer. And also speaking of the travel situation in Japan right now, finally Japan opened for the business travelers and exchange students. Maybe early of April, Japan will open before the Sakura season will come because that's an important season for travel industry. Well, that's what I hope. And also, there is an Apple store over there in Shinjuku. I just went there. Well, I couldn't enter there without reservation, but now, seems like they are accepting the customer without reservation too. The situation is definitely getting better. Heading to South Gate of Shinjuku, which is my favorite place. Speaking of the escalator in Japan, there is a rule that stand for the one side. However, recently, there are so many lines in the other side and the opposite side, no one actually using this. Usually, there is a long line in front of the escalator. Even if it has a long line, there is an empty space on the one side. So the government asked people to use the both line. I think that would be more practical, so it's better. Oh, look at 
Dad, sweet! There is already a Christmas tree.、Uh, in Japan, usually we don't celebrate the Thanksgiving, so after the Halloween, jump to the Christmas. And here we go. Now we have already Christmas decor. Nice! Even Japan don't celebrate the Thanksgiving, but I do. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and Merry Christmas to you. Now, came to my favorite place. Well, this place used to be really quiet, however, <laughs> so many people coming back to the town, and it's really packed. <laughs> There is a table, and you can see the beautiful trains from here with beautiful view. Well, I can't really find a place to sit down, but still, I'm happy to see that people are coming back to the town. All right, next, let's go to visit Shibuya. By the way, I'm planning to visit Ginza too after it gets dark, so hopefully, I can show you guys the beautiful illumination in Ginza. and... If there is Christmas tree too. Anyway, let's go. We will use Yamanote Line to go to Shibuya from Shinjuku. I'm wearing Apple Watch on the right side because usually those gates have the IC card place on the right side. I haven't get used to yet. During the live stream, I usually wear the Apple Watch on the left side because I'm always holding the cam on the right. But、uh, yeah, I should wear the Apple Watch on the right side. And platform number 14. That's the way to go to Shibuya. Well, I just missed the train right now, but don't worry. Yamanote Line usually comes in two to three minutes.、So. Yeah, just wait for the next one. By the way, so many people in the station. It's really packed. And arrive to Shibuya Station. This Shibuya Station used to be a really tiny platform, but now it became much wider so that people can walk easily. Yep, it's a really good change. Loving it. And now we are heading to Hachiko exit, which is number eight. We will find a Shibuya crossing. By the way, number eight in Japanese is Hachi. Hachi. So that's why number eight exit is the Hachiko exit. And here we go. We are at Shibuya right now. Wow, that's well crowded compared to what I thought. Yeah, definitely people are coming back to the town. And here we go. We are at the Hachiko's place. This is the, one of the most popular Machi Awase spot, which is a meeting spot. You see that dog? That's Hachiko. I'm at the Shibuya intersection right now. It's really crowded. Hope you guys can hear me. Wow, this place is very noisy. In the second floor, there is a Starbucks, and that's the spot we can see the Shibuya crossing. So let's go to check from the higher place. This time I use the back street. There are so many small restaurants. 
All of them will open in the night time, so now they're closed. And here we go. That's Miyashita Park. Well, it doesn't seem like a park, but on top floor, there is a big park. This place, it was so empty. But now, even it's 4 p.m., seems like many people are enjoying food. Nice. Let's go to the park. By the way, this is a food called in Miyashita Park. So basically, in this food court, there are so many popular restaurants in foreign country. Usually, those restaurants, we don't see it in Japan. Even we can find the Panda Express too. So today, I decided to try this Maguro Market. It's a Hawaiian restaurant, I believe. Let me order the spicy tuna roll. I'm not sure how spicy it is, but let me try that. Oh wait, look at this avocado shrimp pocky. It looks pretty good. Well, but I haven't eaten the spicy tuna for a long time, so let me order the spicy tuna roll. Well, I don't think we can find a seat in the food court, so why not? Let's eat it in the park. So here we go. This is the park. Wow. Well, as I could imagine, it's crowded. Well, hope I can find a place to eat. I don't think we can find a seat, so why not? Let's sit down on the grass. All right, here we go. I think this place is good. I'm so happy that I have a wider lens so that even with this much clothes, I think the angle is fine. By the way, hopefully this place is not that noisy. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. Oh my goodness, sweet. Okay, so it's a spicy tuna roll. Speaking of the spicy tuna roll, many people think that's from Japan. However, actually it's a Korean style sushi. So technically, we can't really find it in here. When I was in the state, I used to eat the spicy tuna roll a lot. However, after I came back to Japan, I haven't eaten the spicy tuna roll. So I'm so excited to try that. Anyway, let's eat. Itadakimasu. All right, so this is how it looks like. <laughs> it doesn't look that good, but how about the taste? Itadakimasu. Well, speaking of the spiciness level, it is not that spicy. I believe they are... Oh, 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 oh. Well, I believe this spicy tuna roll is Japanese. Speaking of the price of this spicy tuna roll, it was 900 Japanese yen. However, if you go to the conveyor's restaurant, then you can eat the 9 dishes of sushi, which is 18 pieces of sushi. Definitely, this is not cheap. In Japan, usually sushi are cheaper. However, this roll is the American price, even it's in Japan. <laughs> They gave me a tiny soy sauce, but they didn't give me a wasabi. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Speaking of the rolls that I can't find it in Japan, one of my favorite was Volcano. I could never find it. The next my favorite is the Philadelphia roll. Philadelphia roll later, I can't find it in Japan. Maybe I can just simply make one, huh? Yeah, I think that would be an easier way. That was interesting, but I think one time is enough. It's almost 5 p.m. right now. Seems like more and more people are here. Wow, look at the sky. Really beautiful. And the view from here. It's beautiful. Seems like they are building something. I'm wondering what it is. In front of you, there is a tall building over there. On top of that, there is a sky observatory where we can see the really beautiful view and also Mount Fuji as well. If you want to see that, please check my this video. There is a bouldering place and also skateboarding park. Good job! Well, he's really good. 
maybe the future Olympic athlete over there. And here we go, now we arrive to Ginza. It gets a little bit chilly, I'm so glad that I brought the jacket. Right now it's about 14 degrees, so 60 Fahrenheit. Definitely winter is coming. Anyway, let's go to check the light it up Christmas tree or something. Let's go. This is the Mitsukoshi department store, one of the most popular department store in Japan. There is a Santa Claus already. And also, <laughs> Mitsukoshi's lion sculpture now had the mask with Mitsukoshi mark. Go! Inside, it seems like they have a Merry Christmas Fair festival. But uh, unfortunately, you know, I can't shoot the video inside, so maybe next time. Oh, Santa Claus. Again, in Japan, we don't have Thanksgiving, so it's already Christmas. Oh, look at that. There is another Santa Claus over there. Oh, never mind. It's uh, just a red clothes. I just love walking Ginza in the night time. So beautiful. There are so many photo spots. Loving it. By the way, so many fancy cars and taxis. Yep, that's Ginza. Well, I'm not really a big fan of a sports car, but I like car. Hope one day I can have a big SUV. Yeah, when I get a family. <laughs> not right now though, it's too early. This place is called Miyuki Street. Beautiful. <laughs> I found the SoftBank shop, which is my cell phone carrier. And uh, let me see, what will he do with this bolan? Ginza, Ina. Cake in the Kanji no Ichikawa no Ginza. This. Wow. He speaks. <laughs> That's nice advertisement. Ah, nice. Traditional Japanese sweet store. Also got the Christmas tree, but hmm, not as colorful as the regular one. But uh, yeah, looks like Japan. Nice. And look at this store. Squid Game. Well, it's kind of weird to see that Squid Game with. Japanese pictures. This picture looks pretty nice. Well, I'm not sure what kind of store it is, but interesting. Really beautiful place. Nice. That's my popular Japanese jewelry store, Mikimoto. Beautiful. And this is the interesting bookstore. Now, they sell Christmas decor. And also, this bookstore has a Christian book. As you guys know, Christian is not popular in Japan, so we don't have much Christian bookstore. But here, you can find many Christian books. And that's Apple Store in Ginza. Again, right now, we can enter freely without reservation. Oh my goodness, this is a really cool street. There are so many crows. Well, in Japan, not so many people realize that Christmas is a Christian thing. But this place reminds Japanese people that Christmas is a Jesus Christ's first day. Nice. Seems like Gap has a Black Friday sale. Black Friday is not common in Japan, but seems like Gap has this sale.
And now we came to the back street of Tokyo Station. The Christmas light up decor it came back. Nice. Christmas is one of my favorite season. I love people's happy atmosphere, tons of happy atmosphere. Well, the last year, due to the pandemic, not so many people were in the town. Well, so hopefully, I can see the beautiful happy atmosphere of Christmas in this year. Oh, and there's a big Christmas tree in Marubiru. Let's go to check. Oh, look at that. So many people are taking photos there. Why not? Let's go to check there. I'm wondering what's going on there. Oh, sweet. I see no wonder people are here. It's a tree of Hogwarts magic. So it's a collab with Harry Potter. The Christmas version. Nice. So many people. Sweet. I think I found a really nice one. So many people watching there. But I found a nice seat. So let me move there. So now we came back to Tokyo Station. It was a wonderful Harry Potter Christmas show. By the way, full version is on my Patreon account. Again, thank you so much for the Patreons. Because of you guys' support, I can keep traveling. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account as well. Uh, speaking of my new cam, still I'm learning the setting. Actually, today I tried a different picture profile, so hopefully you find the better quality compared to before. Yes, I'm still learning so many settings with new Sony cam. Hopefully, I can get used to it soon. And after I get that, I will start traveling more and more. So please look forward to it. And also, please don't forget to check my Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. <laughs> Arigato for your support. All right, so hope you enjoyed traveling Japan through this video with me. So see you in the next video. See you. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye.